I think Apple is so far behind everyone else, it's going to embolden them to make some smart decisions. They're actually going to partner with others. They're going to do things. Uh, whereas I think some of the more leading, like I think Google has it the hardest because Google's so far ahead of most others mm -hmm. that it's hard for them they to even They have their own chips. They have their own software. They have their own, you know, all those other types of things. I mean, they wrote, the attention is all you need paper, yeah. right? Like they, they're so far ahead. And what, what they're not realizing is that their strategy isn't working and they need to do some other things. I would say same for some of the other hyperscalers. Um, I mean, frankly, all of them. I, I actually, <laughs> this is going to sound a little weird. I think Apple has the best advantage because they're probably the only ones who realize that they haven't locked it down. I think Microsoft, I think Meta, I think Google, um, all think that they're like the winners at this point. Mm -hmm. Amazon, and obviously, in there. Based on what they're yeah. doing, based on conversations. But I would say Amazon realizes they're a little behind. And, and I think that's going to give them a little more flexibility. And you see this all the time. The, the, the folks who are the most behind sometimes end up getting ahead of everyone else because they don't find what they're doing that precious and they're willing to, like Apple just um, canned their self-driving team and said, you are now working on generative AI. 